Hey friends, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures and today I thought it would be fun if I recorded a day in the life quick little video. Uh, here is my little fur baby Skippy. <laughs> he likes to ride up front with mama. We are on our way to take him to the vet so that he can get his nails trimmed because they have gotten a little too sharp, haven't they Skips? Yeah, he's, he's upset right now because he can't get in my lap. <laughs> But you can't be in my lap when I'm driving fast. It's not safe. It's probably not safe for him up there either, but we're not on the main road right now. So yeah, I've already been to Goodwill this morning, at least one Goodwill. I really didn't find anything. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't record anything there. And then um, I came on and did that uh, hangout that Lonnie does with some of his friends, uh, Justin from RVA Flips and uh, Land Shark Picker, I believe is his name. So uh, yeah hung out with them for a little while this morning and now we're on our way to do this and um, when we get back home I want to show you guys a couple of things that I bought yesterday so um, we'll record some at the vet if he behaves <laughs> we just got here you have to wait you can't go yet you have to wait and get your nails trimmed This is what I wanted to show you guys that I picked up yesterday. I had gone out to my antique mall and um, there is a Goodwill out there so I stopped by and actually picked these up out of the cart they had just rolled out. They don't have a price on them but when I went up there to check out she rang them up as 59 cents each. So I got um, all three cups for under two dollars so I'm super excited about that. And I'm going to be listing these on uh, Macari, and also I'm going to be listing, cross-posting them on eBay. So I got uh, Chile, or Chile, I have no idea how you say that, uh, Bueno Aires, and Argentina. Okay, don't give me any crap if I chopped these words up. I'm sure I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I enjoy selling the mugs. They're super easy to ship. And um, always make the buyer pay for shipping, for sure. I definitely never do free shipping when it comes to coffee mugs because that can get kind of pricey. Um, and I have one more thing I want to show you. Okay, these are definitely a bolo. If you ever see these out and about, you guys. These um, are uh, tile blocks. I actually picked these up at my um, antique mall. Uh, I got them on sale. I believe I paid $16 each for these. And I got them a while back. I just haven't listed them yet. But they are by Sid Dickens. And he is uh, out of Canada there, Vancouver. And they are just different plaques. See, it's got this hole in it so you can hang it on the wall. Different plaques that you can collect, like the ones that you like, and hang them up on the wall. Now, I first found out, the only reason I know about these, you guys, is because my husband's cousin's wife, <laughs> she uh, collects these and she had some up on her wall uh, one time when we went to go visit them. So yeah, if you ever see Sid Dickens, definitely pick those up. I'm gonna be listing these. I'd like to get at least a uh, hundred each for them. They're pretty pricey. So um, I think this one in particular is pretty collectible. I think they call it the red cloak or something. And this one is the horse one. So uh, I'm gonna be putting these on Macari and eBay. And so that is my goal, you guys, uh, for the next uh, day is to get these five items uh, listed on eBay and Macari and you guys are gonna have to hold me to it so go and make sure I listed this stuff uh, and kept my word <laughs> good morning friends okay it is now the next day I thought I'd just tack on today also to the video so um, I forgot to say but Skippy did really good during his appointment he didn't even cry one time while he's getting his nails trimmed so he did really good I was proud of him um, and let's see what else so today's Friday morning I didn't really see too many garage sales advertised um, on the apps but I thought I'd drive around because for the past couple of weekends I haven't been getting up and going out and then when I finally do get out I actually see garage sale signs so um, I guess people are just having sales and um, not advertising but 
my husband seems to think that there probably won't be any this morning just because it got really cold so now it's in the 40s again <laughs> and like yesterday it was like 80 degrees go figure this crazy Texas weather so yeah I wish it would just stay cold maybe I need to move to Colorado for a little while because I love the cold weather but I also love the warm weather so I, I could see myself being one of those people like one of those elderly people that um, not necessarily elderly but retired retired people who um, like spend all of their winters up, upstate like I don't know around um, well not necessarily upstate what what in the world am I even trying to say like Colorado is what I mean <laughs> so like I'd love to live in Colorado and spend my summers down in um, Florida that would be awesome the pretty clear blue water but um, boy I digress big time there didn't I so I'm pulling into Goodwill now it's almost nine o'clock and uh, see if they got any goodies and I will report back and let you know okay so I did find some things inside of Goodwill uh oh I'm getting notifications go away so I found some things inside Goodwill. I didn't see any garage sales, but I'll probably get up again in the morning Saturday uh, and go see if I can find any sales and take you guys with me because it's been a while. I'm so ready to get back into it. But um, at Goodwill, I found this, um, and I pretty much got almost all of this right out of the bins, but I got this hourglass thing here, and it was originally $59 at Pier 1, and I paid $8 for it. So um, whenever I saw it, it made me think of uh, that soap opera, Days of Our Lives. How does it go through the sands of the hourglass so are the days of our lives? <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was really neat. Can you see the sand falling? So I might keep it for a little while and then maybe when I get tired of it, I'll put it in my booth. And I got these Coach flip-flops here and they were $4.99. So I just like to round up and say I paid like five bucks for these. So I'm hoping to get like about maybe 20 for these on Poshmark. And then I picked this uh, floral coffee mug up. It was 79 cents because it said Ralph Lauren on the bottom. But I looked it up and it's not really worth anything. So uh, I might just keep it or put it in my uh, antique booth for a few dollars. And then I got one more mug. I just bought this one because I loved it. I love anything nautical and it has a real pretty little seahorse on it. And this one was 99 cents. And this one, let me see at the bottom since I can't really make it out. Um, oh gosh, I think I'd need my magnifying glass to read it. Maybe y'all can, might know what it is. I'm not sure. But um, either way, I'm probably gonna keep this one. I just love it, it's so cute, little seahorse. And I picked these up, Barron's GRE Vocabulary Flashcards. And I paid $2 for these. And I'm thinking I'm gonna merge it fulfill these on Amazon. And they're going for like, I think 15 or $16 is what they were going for when I looked it up. <clears throat> and then I had to pick this up. It was only 99 cents. It's a calculator for like, I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s because I had one of these and I must have lost it. I don't have mine anymore. But uh, yeah, I had to get it and it works and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'll be keeping that one. And then I did get a couple of things to flush. Here is Olivia. She's so cute. So uh, Olivia with her little uh, paintbrush there and she was 99 cents. So I haven't looked this up yet, but most likely I'll probably sell this on Macari and or eBay, hoping to get, you know, anywhere from 12 to $15. So these little bitty dollar items just, you know, can add up to a lot. You know, if you get 10 of them, that's like $100. So it adds up. Um, and here is a little black kitty cat puppet. And it is by Folk Tales. And it was 99 cents. Let me see if I can get my hand in there. Hello everybody, how are you doing? It reminds me of that cat. What was that cat whenever I was a little girl? It used to come on PBS. 
channel eight. What was that? There was, seemed like there was a cat. Was it with Mr. Rogers? I can't remember now, but um, that's what this cat reminds me of. That's the first thing I thought, like brought me back to my childhood. Uh, so yeah, I haven't even looked up the cons on this one yet. Yeah, I'll sell that one too. Um, so that is my quick little haul I got this morning from One Goodwill. I'm going to go ahead and head home now because it's almost noon and my girl, my little girl gets out of school early today. They have uh, early release, so I need to be home to get her off of the bus. So um, stay tuned. I got more videos lined up and coming out, you guys. Thanks for hanging around with me. Like I said, I know it's been uh, a while since I put out content on a regular basis. I'm hoping to start doing videos at least every other day uh, going forward, so we'll see. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video and share it with your friends and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody. Well, well, isn't this interesting? Now I'm definitely really a hot diggity dog. Don't forget to join my Facebook groups. All the links are down in the description box below.